whenever things in my life historically, uh, in my career, have started really getting going, something major happens in my life, just throws a wrench in the whole, in the whole works, right? Um, but life keeps going, and life doesn't care about Tony Awards and TV careers. And sometimes you're at the top of your game, and you're an 11-year-old phenom with massive potential, and your mom dies. And then sometimes you build yourself back up, and you're auditioning, and you're getting work, and, and it's great, and you're pilot season is right around the corner and things are going to be awesome and you have a nervous breakdown and you have to quit acting. And then sometimes you get back into acting and things are going really well and you're booking gigs and you're writing and pilot season is right around the corner and then you find out that you're going to have a baby in May. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I put my dress on, and my, my director was like, um, where's your blazer? Because you look pregnant. <laughs> well, now I can. Yeah, I found out, thank you, I found out um, at 10 and a half weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Most women are like, oh, I missed my period. I should take a pregnancy test. <laughs> I'm like, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> done some dumb things in my life. And I've never been pregnant. So I thought I couldn't be. <laughs> I was like, God put an empty system down there. So I'm good to go. Don't wrap it up. <laughs> Dummy. Um, so, oh, no. yo, I don't think so. <laughs> the, the dude, the dude who's on speakerphone right now. Hey, Dad. Um, oh, thank you. He just, no, not him. Oh, no, not me. <laughs> He's gay. You might, you could carry it. So, I mean, if you want to feel like having no, it. No, no. My, 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 my boyfriend. I guess he is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were discussing it the other night. We realized that we're going to have a nose with feet. <laughs> That's what our baby's going to be. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, Oh, thank you. A pretty nose with feet. Um, the first ultrasound that we had, it was like it was like wiggling around and like dancing. And we're horrible dancers, horrible dancers. So maybe it's not our baby. <laughs> um, so uh, when I decided that I was going to make this announcement at this show and make it official to everybody, I thought, oh, well, I need to pick a new song for my encore. I have to pick like a lullaby or like Baby Mine or the story goes, ah, and on. <laughs> Can you tell how much I like that one? Um, and then I realized that the song that I had picked for the last show was actually the perfect song. Uh, I picked it that time just because I liked it. I've always liked it. And suddenly, it actually meant something. Um, so I'm going to invite my, my beautiful director, Danny Goldstein, um, up on stage to play the ukulele. Danny, who um, has a 13-month-old. Can I say this? 14. Four oh, sorry. I don't know, numbers, babies, just, it's a year and two months. 14. Oh, Jesus. Um, anyway, he, this fucking mic is attacking me. He sings this song to his daughter every night um, to put her to bed. They just do that. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows how long I've loved you. You know. I love you still Will I wait a lonely lifetime If you want me to, I will And if I ever saw you I didn't catch 
your name But it never really mattered I will always feel the same Love you forever and forever Love you with all my heart Love you whenever we're together Love you when we're I find you, your song will fill the air. Sing it loud so I can hear you. Make it easy to be near you. For the things you do endear you to me. Oh, you know I will. I Thank you, thank you. Thank you to Danny Goldstein, my wonderful, wonderful director. That's Ian Hunt on the drums. Ben Thomas on the bass. Brandon James Gwynn, the most handsome man in New York City. Thank you to PJ in the booth, and to Paul, and to the whole Birdland staff, and to Jim Caruso. And I love you all, thank you all so much for coming. And tweet about it! Ladies and gentlemen, Daisy Egan.